Hi and welcome to a video looking at Android on a tablet PC. The Android operating system is Google's operating system um, and it's recently been evolved to work much more smoothly on tablet PCs. Now in this video we're going to look at the very basics of using Android on a tablet PC. So first up this is the lock screen and you'll see a lock icon here. Now if I press on that and hold down so I'm on the touch screen and then I drag it across to this lock that is unlocked it will automatically snap to it when I release it uh, gets me straight into the tablet PC. You may have noticed that there was a um, camera icon also there which we'll look at in a separate uh, video on how you can access directly to the camera application. So this is the Android central home screen. Now I'm just going to quickly show you how you can change the wallpapers here because then that will make it a bit easier for you to see as I'm navigating Android. So I've just pressed and held down on the main home screen here and I've got an option to choose wallpaper from a gallery um, photo, live wallpaper or standard wallpaper. Now if I click on the standard wallpaper I can navigate to different kinds of wallpapers and when we're talking about wallpapers here we're talking basically about the background and the colours that you can use. Now there's a few different options here. If I set that one as my wallpaper here, this is just a kind of countryside scene. I'm actually going to navigate to the live wallpapers as these are a bit more interesting for um, higher end tablet PCs. So let's take this one here, let's have a look at this. This is kind of like a kind of moving spiral type effect and that works quite nicely to uh, to be able to show you Android. Now um, the operating system itself is broadly made up to start off with of five home screens. So along the top here you can notice five dots in a row and the middle dot currently has a, a box around it. So that's the central home screen. Now you have five home screens so if I navigate left you can see the box moves along one and we get into a different home screen. I carry on navigating to the left I get another box moving across and then I'm actually at the far end here so if I try and navigate further that way it's not allowing me to do so. If I navigate back to the central home screen and then go to the right now you can see I'm accessing other types of um, home screens here and again the far right you've got the box around that far right dot and we're back here. So if I go back to the central one here, and I'll just show you around some of the, the icons and what's available on the screen here. So you've got a kind of Google uh, logo at the top here with a little microphone next to it. And that Google there will allow you to click and immediately navigate to uh, a Google search on the web. Um, and also some previous searches. I'm going to jump back to the home screen and I'll show you how I did that in just a moment. Um, the little um, icon here which shows a... A kind of microphone allows you to actually speak into the microphone of the tablet PC and navigate in that way, so rather than typing something in. On the far right here we have six boxes in two sets of three, so if I click on that, that actually navigates you straight to your kind of app screen that lists all your applications that you've got available to you. You can also get widgets from here which are kind of um, little small widgets that you can put on those home screens so you can quickly access information. Now I'm going to go back again to the home screen. There's a little widget I've actually got set up here that shows location and uh, weather. Um, over here we can see the date and also the uh, number of emails that I've got uh, outstanding in my inbox. Now further down here we've got a few other buttons. So this is something that I was I tapped on slightly earlier. So we've got a back button here which allows you to go back to uh, whatever you've previously um, previously accessed. You've also got the home button which always brings you back to this main central home screen. So for example if I'm in the far home screen and I tap that we go straight back to the central one. If I'm in the applications and the widgets and I want to get back to that home screen I just press that. So that's a quick and easy way of always finding your way back to this central home screen. Now also here we have a third icon which is kind of like a few boxes on top of each other which show you the um, the, the kind of open apps at that stage. So if you've got a number of apps open this is a quick and easy way to navigate to them. So I previously was doing a search so that's available to me. I previously had a quick look at settings and stuff like that so that's available to me. Similarly if I um, opened an application, let's say I went to the Android market, let's go back to the home, 
you can see now that's now available within this and uh, these ones are pretty easy to open and close and I'll show you that in a later video. So that's those kind of soft buttons there but also down the bottom here you've got a number of shortcuts. Now currently here I've got a browser and the YouTube application, the camera application, gallery application, a, uh, a, a note taking application that comes with this um, Asus tablet, a music application, the Android market, um, and also Gmail and these kind of things and you'll notice them on other home screens are just quick uh, ways of jumping to certain applications within your tablet. Now you'll notice I've got a number of widgets already set up. This is a bookmarks widget and you can actually configure some of these by holding down on them to be actually slightly smaller, slightly bigger, but I'll go into that in a bit more detail in a separate video. And then finally down the bottom here we have the kind of notification areas and the settings where you can see notifications such as if you're downloading um, applications, um, new email, etc. I won't go into this in too much detail, but there's very much more information here for a separate video. Now, one other thing for finding your way around this tablet is that it reorientates itself. Now, currently, I've actually been into the settings and I've changed the settings so that the auto rotate screen is on and what this allows you to do is to rotate the screen around and it automatically reorientates itself to the portrait or landscape mode that you're in at that stage. Now if you don't like that and you actually want it so that you um, have a bit more consistency and it always sticks in the orientation that you like, if you jump to the settings, again I'll show you this in a bit more detail separately, you can actually turn off that auto rotate screen by going in the display element. You may well come into this in, on the Wi-Fi side of things. Um, that's usually the default thing that happens when you get into settings. If you click down onto display, you find auto rotate screen. There's a little tick next to it. Let's untick that so it disappears. Now when we go back to the home screen, if we actually rotate, it doesn't reorientate itself. So let's pop that back again and that will work smoothly. Other ways to navigate this tablet, and I've been showing you some of those as I've been going along, um, are a number of different sort of things you can do. Now you've got a single tap which effectively allows you to select a desired item uh, such as activating an application. So say for example, single tap, tap on the YouTube application and it opens. <coughs> tap on the home button and it navigates straight back to that. So a single tap is just for selecting something. Now you can also long press. So I showed you this originally when I was selecting wallpapers. A long press basically means tapping on the screen and holding down. And in that case, some wallpaper came out of that and I'm just tapping to get out, out of that kind of mini menu there. But similarly, the good thing with a long tap, particularly on Android, is you can use it to configure those home screens and put new shortcuts on them. So say for example, I've got an Amazon Kindle application here. If I long tap hold on that, so I've held it down, I can now drag it to one of the home screens. And you'll notice as I drag it and push it into a new home screen, it, it drops there. And again, if I wanted to um, change the kind of configuration of how I've set this out, I can literally tap on something, hold it down, and then drag here. So it's a drag and drop type functionality. So that's long pressing. Now another option you have is pinching. Now pinching is using a couple of fingers to zoom in and out of uh, photos or web pages, etc. So let's take a very simple picture I took of just a, a plant here. You can zoom in very easily, push two fingers away from each other, or zoom back in again, <coughs> excuse me, by um, using that pinch motion. Now if I zip back to the home screen, final one is kind of something like flipping, where you can just flip between screens just with a single swipe type motion with your finger. One other input method is actually using the, um, the software keyboard. So say for example, you can just type something in. Now this is the Google search I was showing you earlier on. Say I want to jump to the Yahoo homepage. Let's do that. Let's say Yahoo Mail. You can just type it in using that um, keyboard that comes up, comes up and it's quite easy to type just as you would expect to um, um, get with any kind of uh, QWERTY keyboard that you'd usually be used to typing with that's on a, a physical keyboard. 
So that's it in terms of getting around the tablet. So those are the kind of basics. And in future videos, we'll have a look at stuff in a bit more detail and help you find your way your, around your Android tablet PC.